and I speak for the battalion of the respect we all have for you and your departments. We also have the leadership from Old Dominion University's Army ROTC, our sister ROTC program here today. Major Curdy and the ROTC staff, thank you for your continued support for our program as we thoroughly enjoy our interaction with your ODU and ROTC cadets. We would like to recognize our Jared to see Booster Club members for the countless hours of donated time. Without your support, the program would not be what it is today. We would also like to thank our past and present Packer administrative teams who have supported us in any endeavor we wish to pursue. So Mr. Haney, thank you. I would also like to thank retired Sergeant Major Joel Joyner and the award-winning band as well as Mr. Cousins and the culinary students for making the ceremony and reception a very special. Finally, I would like to thank Lieutenant Colonel Bedoyan and First Sergeant Hunter for their outstanding, excellent guidance and leadership abilities, which have made the, bata the Packer Battalion what it is today. I now wish to speak briefly about the importance of a new dedicated JRDC voting and what it means to us. Our space in Building E was old, worn down, and cramped. The building did not have a space dedicated for JRTC to conduct drill or physical training, and we were at the mercy of the elements to perform these tasks outside. Our supplies and equipment, although stored in secure locations, were scattered in multiple rooms and hallways throughout the building. There was no central location for our uniforms. Although it was nice being in Building E, it really didn't provide the resources or room to meet our needs to become the program we know we can be. Through the vision of Mr. Sullivan, Smithfield Foods, and our county and school leadership, we now have a facility which is second to none. As you can see, not only does the new Jerry to see voting provide a massive area to conduct drill and ceremony, as well as an indoor physical training, it provides a centralized, state-of-the-art supply room which holds all of our uniforms, supplies, and equipment. A dedicated arms room, male and female locker rooms to change in so we do not have to run to the gym to change. With the resources and space we currently have, there is no doubt in my mind our drill team will improve significantly. Our cadets will be more fit, and because of the dedicated, secure space, we will be able to start a rifle team in the spring with your approval, of course, Dr. Thurman. Thank you. Um, thank you again, Ms. Lombardo and Smithfield Foods for making this dream a reality. We cannot thank you enough for your generous donation. This facility will help produce many leaders for years to come. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan. In February of 2017, the gymnasium behind you was exploding with excitement with the announcement of the Smithfield Foods Legacy Project. We are honored to have representatives from Smithfield Foods with us today as we celebrate the opening of the first official facility dedicated specifically for the Smithfield High School of Guarantee. Please join me in welcoming Kiara Lombardo, Senior Vice President of Corporate Affairs for Smithville Foods and President of the Smithville Foundation. Good morning. On behalf of our President and Chief Executive Officer, Ken Sullivan, and the entire Smithfield family, I would like to thank you, Lynn, Superintendent Thornton, School Board Chairman Hewlett, and Chairman Jefferson for the opportunity to be here for this wonderful occasion. And a special thank you to Battalion Commander Willis for your leadership here at Smithfield High School. One of the best parts of my job is meeting people like you. This is a great day for Isle of Wight County Schools, our local community, and Smithfield Foods as we share in this special event to unveil the new JROTC Fieldhouse here at Smithfield High School. We're especially proud that this is just one of several facilities made possible by the Smithfield Foods Legacy Project, our $3 million gift to Isle of Wight County Schools to fund this innovative and multifaceted educational program. This facility, that's really nice sharing, thanks. <laughs> this facility will help cultivate tomorrow's leaders as the 
the award-winning JROTC program at Smithfield High School plays an important role in developing our community's promising youth. This field house offers JROTC participants the resources they need to prepare for successful careers in the military or any other endeavor. We see this as an investment in the future of our community and our country. Our company was founded here in Smithfield in 1936. And although we have grown to become a global food company, we have never lost the small town values on which we were founded. Smithfield remains our home today, and we are proud to invest in these students as they uphold the JROTC values of loyal, loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, and honor. It's part of our commitment to the community where our employees live, work, and raise their families. Just as we work hard to care for our animals, to protect and preserve the environment, and to fight hunger, as well as to produce good food responsibly, we also place an enormously high value on strengthening the town.